not to be confused with virtual reality in which a user is fully immersed into a digital environment. Augmented reality, also known as mixed reality, fuses computer-generated environments with real ones. It's an incredible technology that will ultimately change the way we interact with the world and each other. Most of us have already used augmented reality before, whether it was catching wild Pokemon in your neighbor's backyard or going a little overboard with Snapchat filters. The days of augmented reality being confined to handheld devices are numbered. AR headsets will emancipate the technology, allowing users to enter a fully integrated experience where the only limits are the imagination. We're not there yet, but here are five real-world examples of augmented reality being used to disrupt industries. Warby Parker is no stranger to industry disruption. Founded in 2010 with the goal of offering high-quality prescription glasses at a fraction of the going price, and they were successful. Earlier this year, they released an update to their iPhone app that allows users to virtually try on a pair of glasses before buying them. There are other apps that do the same thing, but Warby Parker took it a step further by using augmented reality to render the glasses on the user's face in real time. This lets their customers move around and see how the glasses look from different angles, similar to the way one would try on a physical pair. IKEA was founded in 1943 by a 17-year-old Swedish carpenter. Since 2008, it's been the world's largest furniture retailer. Although they've dabbled in augmented reality for several years, in 2017, IKEA used Apple's AR kit to develop IKEA Place. It's an app users can use to place true-to-scale 3D models of its furniture in real-world environments. The app lets you scan the room in need of an upgrade, you can then browse the IKEA catalog and place any piece of furniture in that room. Spatial computing eliminates the need for measuring, or more accurately, measuring mistakes. Google and its parent company Alphabet is arguably the most technically advanced organization on the planet. So it's no surprise Google Maps is on the list. Odds are you already know what Google Maps is used for. But recently, Google added machine learning, visual positioning, and augmented reality to its software. This allows Google Maps AR to use stationary objects like buildings that have been cataloged by its street view to help you find your way no matter how turned around you are. This is a great example of using AR with other technologies to create new experiences. One of the biggest challenges facing online retailers who sell products which need to be tried on is simulating that experience. Earlier, we saw how Warby Parker used AR to help customers do just that. Viking AR is using a similar technology to help customers virtually try on footwear. They built a proprietary system that affords its users on-foot product visualization. Their tracking system works with both feet and with socks or without. Although it's still in an embryonic stage, Magic Leap's technology is the closest thing to what augmented reality is supposed to feel like. Many believe its first-generation headset has fallen short of the expectations set by the company's jaw-dropping demonstrations. But from what I can tell, they're on the right track, and gaming giant Rovio agrees. In January of 2018, they began developing the Angry Birds game for the Magic Leap headset, then released it at the end of that same year. The game had some minor issues like mapping small objects and not working on glossy surfaces, but overall, it marked a major milestone for not only the gaming industry, but the AR industry as well. Anthony J6 here. If you found value in my video, a thumbs up would really mean a lot to me. And if you're into the technologies that will be shaping our lives in the near future, things like artificial intelligence, augmented reality, cryptocurrency, and even the darker side of technology, subscribe to my channel because that's what we discuss. You know, some of the things I present are not so clear cut. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Until next time, the world is getting weird. 
perspective is encouraged.